Everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin and you are watching That Christian Vlogger. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how YouTubers make money, or at least how I as a YouTuber or as aspiring full-time YouTuber uh, make money. This is usually one of the questions that I get asked like all the time. Whenever I meet someone new, usually, I'm sure you experience this too, they say, oh, what are you studying in school? Or if you're done with school, what do you do for a living? And you know, I say YouTube and immediately people are super stoked. They're like, wow, that's super cool. Tell me more about that. What kind of content do you make? And I tell them a little bit about that. And then usually the follow-up question is, oh, so how do you make money out of that? Which is a really good question because if you read some of like the magazines and the articles uh, that they cover about YouTube, like, like the top tier YouTube celebrities, I mean, these people are making like millions and millions of dollars. And so maybe sometimes people assume that you're making that much or maybe, I, 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 don't, I don't know what runs through people's minds. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about the different ways that I, at least as a YouTuber, uh, I'm able to kind of pay the bills or actually not even really pay the bills, the, the ways that I earn money. So the very first thing that I would say the first way that most YouTubers make money and it's the easiest way to make money is through AdSense. Now I say the easiest because it's like you literally click a button and this is how it works, but it's not the easiest as far as turning it into a career. So if you don't know what AdSense is, is basically if you, before this video starts, there's a chance that you saw an ad, uh, an advertisement right before, uh, you know, it says countdown from five, four, three, two, one, before you can click skip on the video. And uh, every time that an advertisement is displayed in front of a video or maybe after or sometimes in the middle of a video, every time that that happens, uh, you earn as the creator a fraction of a fraction of a penny. Like like not even one penny, you earn less than one penny. But the idea is, is that you're never really trying to make money off of just one view, but you're trying obviously to get higher numbers of views. So it really doesn't actually have anything to do with subscriber counts. It doesn't really technically have anything to do with the number of videos videos that you have, it's, it all comes down to the number of views that you have on your videos. So if you run a, uh, a channel that has like prank videos, or if you run a channel that has like, uh, I don't know, entertainment or something along those lines, or you're like one of those really famous vloggers where you're getting millions and millions of views, this actually works out really, really well for you. And yeah, you can become one of those people that makes a ton of money. But uh, the way that AdSense generally works out is for maybe every about 1,000 views the creator earns on average about $1. So that's not a lot. I mean, you got to think about this. How hard is it to get a thousand views on a video? If you're a new creator, that's actually a pretty large challenge and, and that can be difficult. And all that work is for $1, which is kind of, um, difficult because a lot of people misunderstand how much time and how much energy it takes to create videos. Um, I wanted to say like on the, on the types of videos where I'm studying out a subject, I'm talking about a particular theme uh, of scripture or theology or the cases because that's what my channel is about. Um, you know, I'm putting in at least five, six, seven, sometimes as much as 10 hours of research and studying and writing and shooting and editing and all that kind of stuff. It's usually, I mean, it's not, uncommon for it to take at least 10 hours for me to produce one video. And if you think about that, like one video comes out to maybe a, like a thousand or 2000, or if it goes, you know, if it blows up, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, 50, a hundred thousand views. And so that can be not the best way to earn an income. To give you an example of exactly what this looks like for me, a couple months ago, I posted on my Facebook account, you know, that I just got my first check from YouTube. I had been doing the channel for 17 months and my first check coming in was $651.14. Now, of course, $651, that's nothing to be kind of just like, oh, that's that's nothing. Like that's real money. Like that's money that I could buy gas with. That's money that I could pay for groceries with. That's like, that's real money. But when you think about it, how many months did it take me to get there? 14 months or 17 months rather. And how many videos did I create? I created 231 videos to get to that single point. So if out of those 231 videos, if I say I, I took a, a conservative uh, estimate of five hours per video to make that, that is basically I've earned about $1.77 per hour worth of work on YouTube. So clearly AdSense, you can make money, but it's not like the most lucrative way to make money. Certainly not at the beginning. I think if you have like a million subscribers and it's a very real way that you can, you can make money, you put out a piece of content every day and some tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people watch the video, then that's a great way to do it. But for my niche, my channel, you know, the, 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 the Christian vlogging specter, that's not a really great way to make money because Christian videos on average don't go 
viral in the same way that like a prank or you know Casey's nice stat like snowboarding through New York will. It's not the kind of content that you share with your friends as much. It's you know it's much more like oh I enjoy this content kind of privately and I listen to it and I study it and I reflect on it for myself. And so AdSense, while being the easiest way, all you do is literally click a button. Um, it's not the most lucrative. It's not the most uh, reliable way to do it. So a second way that I make a little bit of money or a little bit of income for this channel is through actually through speaking engagements. And so uh, my background, many of you guys actually don't know this about me. And I, I was I remember messaging someone on Facebook and uh, they were asking me about this, about my speaking engagement and my, my, my history because I've, I've done a lot of speaking in the last like month or two. You guys have been seeing I've been in Australia. I've been in Texas. I've been in California. I'm actually going to California in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of speaking engagements, but what a lot of you guys don't know about me is my my ministry for like the last 10 years, I've been in ministry for 10 years, I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of speaking. I've, I, I've preached or taught or done evangelism for, I don't know, at least a couple hundred times already. So I have a lot of experience with that and I have a, a fairly good network of friends who are pastors and people who are in these, uh, in, in the church, uh, that, um, you know, that, that, that I'm familiar with. And so I get invitations to speak on occasions and many times they'll give kind of an honorarium or speaker fee or whatever the case is. And that's a great way for me to connect with people in person, as well as to get a little bit of compensation to continue, uh, making this ministry move forward. So little plug, if you would like to invite me out to your church, your school, a conference or anything else like that, that is something that I'm open to and something I'd love to talk to you about. There will be my email in the description bar of this video below. And before I go on to number three, number four different ways uh, that I at least make money on this YouTube channel, one thing that I feel like it's important for me to share is really what I'm actually doing with these finances. Now, I told God that I would give him 12 months that just dedicate towards mission work and I didn't need to worry about an income. I didn't need to worry about any of that. I was willing to like give and to, 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 to serve as a missionary in that capacity. And so actually so far, all the money that I've made with AdSense or speaker fees or these other two ways that I'm gonna be telling you about, I actually haven't kept any of that money. That that money has gone 100% to be reinvested into this ministry. Now, I did not have a background in video. I don't have a background in editing or graphics or anything like that. So for me to actually get to a place where I could sit down and talk to you in a camera, have decent audio, you know, relatively good lighting and all that kind of stuff, I had to really work my way to get there. And making videos can in fact be a very expensive thing to do. Um, you know, for example, I'll give, I'll give you an example. Like this this lens right here, I mean, it's just a tiny little lens, but this lens right here costs like $1,000, which is ridiculous. Like if I were just a normal person, like not doing YouTube, I would never spend this amount of money on a piece of camera gear. But when you're making YouTube videos and you're going out and you're filming different things, if you want to create quality content, you actually have to invest in quality gear in order for that to happen. So all the money that I've made from this entire last 17 months from my channel, um, I've literally just gone back and reinvested into the channel, get a microphone, get lenses, get camera bodies. I literally had to buy a computer because in order to edit my videos, my computer, which I had for like five or six years, it was too slow and it wouldn't work. So there's a lot of gear that I had to reinvest in. And I, I, I don't know, I guess, I don't know why I feel like I need to describe, uh, to explain myself to you guys about how I'm using the money, but I feel like it's still kind of a duty because you know this isn't like, I'm not making the money for myself. My goal with any of the funds that I, I, I get from this channel is to reinvest it into you guys and to make the experience a little bit better for you guys. Anyways, so on to method number three. This is the third way that I make uh, an income as a YouTuber. And the third way is through video sponsors. Occasionally, I'll get a, uh, someone emailing me uh, asking if I'm open to sponsoring a book or a shirt or you know a different product or something like that and share that with you guys. And so sometimes people may pay just a little bit of money to get their product in front of you guys as an audience. And the way that I've done that is I've tried to be very, very selective about that. I've tried to only say yes to products, books, or whatever the case is, things that I actually believe in. In fact, I've said no far more times than I have actually said yes to people asking me about sponsors. You know, a lot of times I get someone who says, oh, I just wrote a book, would you promote it? You know, or I'm just starting a channel, would you promote what I'm doing? Uh, and the vast majority of the time, I, I, I don't say yes simply because I don't know them or I don't know their message or I don't trust them. Like I had a guy who came in, he was willing to offer me actually quite a bit of money if I were to kind of promote their ministry. But the problem was is I didn't really know what they stood for. And as I went into their website, I was actually more alarmed than I was encouraged. And so for me, I say no to those things because it's not worth 
worth, uh, it's a, or I would say, is I, I say no to those things because I want to make sure that the things that I share with you, I'm truly 100% behind. I'm fully like on board with it, in, uh, at least as far as their mission, their heart and things like that. So the, uh, pretty much every single channel that I've ever shouted out on here, no one has ever paid me to do that. I just do that because I really love the people that I'm sharing with you guys because that's honestly what I'm interested in. And so instead of doing the product sponsors, one thing that I do for myself is I try to share things from my life that I think will be helpful for you. So an example of this would be uh, through Audible. So you know in the last couple of uh, videos, I've been plugging audibletrial.com slash that Christian vlogger because I listen to tons of audiobooks. Like if you look at my Audible account, I have tons of audiobooks. If you look at my Kindle, I have like like so many, many books. I remember my first year out of Bible college when I was making like zero money and like I was just doing work and I basically had no money. All I did was read books. And I said, you know, I'm gonna read one book every single week. And I and I kept that pace for, you know, like 30, 40 different books and I've read a lot of books. And so I try and recommend things like Audible where I give you guys books that you can check out. And what happens with Audible or other product sponsors like that is every time you sign up using the link that I share with you, they give me a small commission. So that's an example of a product sponsor. Another way that that could go is, you know, sometimes, um, Actually, one thing I'm working on right now is a couple online, more in-depth e-courses that you guys can sign up for that you can uh, actually pay for and get you know content that's longer than five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever my normal videos are like. You can go more in-depth with that subject. So for example, a lot of people ask if I can give them advice or how, how, to, how to grow a YouTube channel, that kind of a thing. I have designed like a 15 part course on how to grow a Christian YouTube channel. And that's a course that's available. And so even though it's not like someone else sponsoring the video, it's kind of like I'm sponsoring the video in a certain way where I'm offering things that uh, I believe in that I've helped develop over the cases. So that's one of the ways that uh, you know you can get income as a YouTuber. By the way, if you're interested in that course, uh, shop.thatchristianvlogger.com and you can get the online course for growing a YouTube channel. Which finally brings us to our fourth and the last a way that I make uh, a living on YouTube that I wanted to share with you guys. And that is actually through Patreon. If you haven't heard of Patreon, Patreon is kind of like a throwback to the olden days where, you know, musicians back in like the 15th, 16th century, you know, they would, or what are this, musicians or screenwrites or, you know, play, you know, uh, like actors, th those kinds of people. People like, for example, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, uh, you know, didn't have like an income or anything like that as far as like a traditional job. But the way that he he was able to create his great pieces of literature the way that you know Beethoven or Mozart may have been able to create their music is that they had people on the side who were called patrons people who believed in what they uh, believed in what they were able to create who said you know the stuff that you're creating is valuable it's worthy and so we are gonna finance what you're doing and so some rich aristocrat would say all right Shakespeare here's money uh, I want you to write a play and what would happen is that that play would actually go to for free to the common people. And so it was a way for the common people to get the material that they were interested in, the entertainment value or the educational value or the, just the cultural value or whatever the case is. They weren't paying for anything. It's because someone else said, hey, I believe in what you're doing and I wanna finance that. Now, that's not exactly what Patreon is doing, but that is very, very close. It's a throwback to that style of thing. Now with Patreon, no one is really just giving like thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, they're I guess it could be, but that's not certainly not what's happening in my case. With the average patron, most patrons will give maybe say like three dollars a month or five dollars a month, ten bucks a month, something small, not a big deal, you know, nothing to really break the bank. But the idea with that, as far as with YouTube, is that if you can get you know a couple hundred people to do that, if you can get a thousand people to do that, or whatever the case is, and everyone is just giving a couple bucks a month, that actually really quickly can become something that is sustainable for this ministry. And so I've promoted that on different occasions through my channel. My Patreon is not at the point where it's like fully sustainable for this ministry. It's actually still quite a distance away from that, but it is certainly a step in the right direction and it is by far the most consistent uh, a way for me to continue to make content for you guys and to, to earn a little bit of income to reinvest into this channel. One way to think about it is like, you know, many of us, we have like a Netflix subscription. Maybe we have Netflix or we have a Hulu subscription. We have a gym membership or something that, like that where we say, you know what, this thing adds value to my life and I'm willing to, to kick back a few bucks every single month to make sure that that stuff always stays around. And so what many of my patrons have done is say, you know what, there's no like Christian Netflix. Or there's no like content that's really speaking to my needs per se. Um, and so instead of going to like Netflix or going to whatever the case is like, or maybe I'm not even a member of 
of church, but I really appreciate your content. You know, here's five bucks a month. Here's seven dollars a month or something along those lines. It's a way for you to say, you know what? I value this content. I want to see more of it and I want to help you in your mission as you move forward. So of course, if you are one of those people and you have not yet become a patron, I would be super grateful if you considered becoming a patron. Uh, the website again is below. It's patreon.com slash that Christian vlogger. But those are the four ways that on average that I try to earn an income through my YouTube channel. They are AdSense, speaking engagements, product sponsors, and Patreon. Hopefully that brings some clarity to you guys who have maybe been wondering that how exactly this all works behind the scenes. Again, I just want to reiterate for me, this is not about the money at all. Like for me, the reason why I started this channel, the reason why I continue to do these channels, because I actually really believe in the mission and the vision of what I'm trying to accomplish. I really value the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the platforms that we have nowadays. I really value YouTube as an effective way to communicate uh, messages and uh, to communicate ideologies and, and and values and morals and things like that. I think it's actually a really cool way to interact with the faith community rather than just going to church once a week or something like that on the weekends, which most people don't even do anyways nowadays, especially if you're like a millennial like me, it seems like our generation isn't going to church all that much. I think YouTube is a really cool way for you to continue like engaging with God and to be thinking about spiritual things on like a day by day basis. And it's super cool because, you know, every single day I get messages, I get comments, I get, you know, uh, like emails emails of people saying how they've been touched by this ministry. And for me, that's what it's all about. If I didn't make any money from this, you know, this is still something that I'd hope to be able to invest some time and some energy when I have the ability to do, do that. That's definitely something that I would want to do. But uh, you know, my goal isn't just to do this as a hobby. My goal is to really do this in a way that I can do, you know, it, it'd be awesome to not only just be like a lone, uh, a lone wolf on this channel, but to have a team to build something around it where I could effectively put out content every single day and I can make content that would be very helpful for your spiritual uh, uh, edification as well as for people who are out there who maybe aren't a part of a church, who maybe don't have pastors or who don't have friends who are Christians and things like that. That is really my goal is to turn this channel into a worldwide ministry and be able to reach millions of people, which incidentally, I just found out actually this channel has officially passed the one million million view mark. So that is super cool that, you know, through, uh, through what God is doing through this channel, we've been able to reach 1 million people through this channel. I think that that is pretty, pretty awesome. The way that I interpret those numbers, those are a million Bible studies, those are a million sermons, those are a million testimonies, uh, those are a million moments in which people are encouraged to seek after God with their whole heart to experience faith in the first person or something like that. So uh, I saw that this morning and I was super stoked about that. So anyways, if you made it to this part in the video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and to helping create such an awesome community. I hear from people who have other YouTube channels and things like that, and they look at what's happening here and they're really, really excited because we, they see the type of community we have. Uh, I've had many people say like, man, your audience is awesome. They engage so much with the content. They always are going back and forth. I mean, we had a live stream just yesterday where someone was saying, hey, you know what? I'm coming to church for the very first time. I, I, I gave my heart to Jesus. I don't have any Christian friends. What do I do? And immediately the chat was saying like, hey, listen, I'm here for you. I want to connect with you. Like, I'll be your friend. And like, it's so cool to see people through a digital me uh, media coming together and banding together uh, for because of the common love for Jesus that we all have. And so I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who have been watching, who've been giving the videos a thumbs up, who've been subscribed, who have shared and, and even just one video over the last, you know, 250 plus videos that I've created in the past. I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are amazing. You are the reason why I continue to make videos. And I hope for, uh, I hope that we're able to continue doing this in the future. I hope to be able to continue making content for you in the years to come. So if that's something that you want to get behind, consider becoming a patron. Links again below. But that's it for today. As I like to say, until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger and I want to encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.